political standoff between BJP and Congress in Karnataka over rice for the Karnataka's gov government's Anna Bhagya scheme. BJP workers as well as Congress party workers are holding rival protests against each other. The Congress is staging protests in Mangalore over the Anna Bhagya scheme. The Congress says that, uh, that the centre is purposely denying them the rice needed for the implementation of the scheme. Well, on the other hand, the BJP is staging a parallel protest against the Congress. This taking place in Bengaluru. The BJP is claiming that the Congress is spreading misinformation about the central government over the stand of FCI. What's your main uh, demand at this point in time? Uh, more, more importantly, of course, you're saying that it's misinformation by the Congress party. No, this part, you see, they came, they themselves only given the guarantee, they have given, they told they'll give 10 kg uh, rice and all, but they failed to do it without any plans, they have done it, and now they were telling, they were, they were telling the lies that central government is not giving. Central government not stopped whatever the, uh, earlier we used to give 5 kilo, 10 kilo is their, uh, uh, assurance they have to ensure okay for that they were giving the misinformation so it is our democratic duty to appraise the people uh, that what they are doing they don't have plans they don't have budget uh, whatever the central government central government rule applies to all over Karnataka we do have governments in different parts of the country too we are also rolling in other parts okay you know Open market, we can't provide. You see, uh, unpredicted rains and drought situation is there. So it is very. Uh, they told lies. Based on lies, they came to power, and now they were ditching. Well, the Congress party in the state of Karnataka today protesting against the center's directive to the Food Corporation of India to stop the supply of rice to all states except northeastern states. Joining us right now, senior Congress leader, Mr. Salim Ahmed, sir, the Congress party protesting today. We're seeing that, you know, your chief minister has constantly blamed the center for playing politics after the Congress party announced its Anna Bhagya scheme. Shame on central government for giving rights. They're also doing politics. Let them do politics. The people of Karnataka have rejected BJP. Now this rice is not for Congress party. So the people of Karnataka, poor people of Karnataka, there is a lot of rice in the center, but they don't want to give. They are doing petty politics. We have so many MPs, central minister, they should come for our rescue. They should force the prime minister of the central government to give rice for this one. Let me do politics later on, but not at the cost of the poor people giving rice to them. This program, because BJP is worried, First, the guarantee bus we have fulfilled. Second guarantee we are going to fulfill. They don't want us to Congress party to fulfill the guarantees. So they are doing this petty politics. The people of Karnataka, the poor people of Karnataka are watching this. Definitely they will also be punished in the Lok Sabha elections. This is very simple. Modi ji is giving 5 kg of rice for 80 crore people of this country. In Karnataka also we are giving 5 kg, but for the purpose of the election, to win over the election, they have given the false uh, guarantees, false guarantees, and now they are blaming us. See, our uh, protest is to expose their lie. The Ramaya government ensured the five guarantees, among that the Food Act, Anna Bhagya scheme, one of the guarantees ensured during the elections and whatever the assurance has come to fulfillment. So, Sidharamaya's Chief Minister, Sidharamaya, on July onwards, he has started, he has planned to start this scheme. So according to that, they have uh, approached the Central uh, Food Corporation Act uh, regarding uh, purchasing of uh, food grains uh, at the rate of uh, rupees 34. All right, viewers, uh, my colleagues uh, Neha and Toya Jakshi are joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Neha, let me come to you first. Neha, the political standoff between the BJP and the Congress in Karnataka uh, is continuing over rice uh, for the Karnataka government's Anna Bhagya scheme. Give us uh, the details uh, that is happening on the ground as of now. Well, yes.
Yes, you know, just a little while earlier, we saw the Congress party and the BJP also, in fact, staging protests against each other over there while the Congress was protesting the center's decision to direct the FCI to stop the supply of state to the rise. This is something, you know, that is, of course, a grave cause of concern for the state of Karnataka. You had the Congress party that came to power on the promise of providing 10 kgs of free rice to all households in the state. Now, with this scheme being stopped, understandably so, uh, you know, with, of course, the supply of rice being stopped, this is something that's going to be affecting the scheme directly. Now, the concern over here, of course, you know, is twofold. The first being where the state government is going to be procuring this 10 kgs of rice per household from. And the second also, of course, about whether they would be able to purchase it at the subsidized rates that they were receiving from the Food Corporation of India. Uh, of course, you know, while the larger concern right now is for the party that, you know, the Lok Sabha elections are right around the corner and whether, you know, they would, of course, be able to fulfill this promise, the BJP, in fact, you know, of course, over here in the state too, was quick to lash out at the government demanding the implementation of the schemes. While the politics over this entire issue continues to play out, it is, of course, you know, the people who are at the receiving end of this. We really have to wait and see. The state government has, of course, you know, reached out to Telangana, to Andhra Pradesh, to other states as well. Uh, however, you know, of course, strangely, you have the Congress party in the state of Karnataka that's found, uh, you know, a friend, of course, in the state of Punjab. Punjab government has offered to supply rice to the state. Whether that would suffice and whether, you know, of course, the government would be able to afford this now, keeping in mind the fact that there are all five Five promises that need to be implemented. It is going to be a huge burden on the exchequer as well. Uh, all of this, of course, you know, is something that we'll be finding out in the coming days. Right, uh, Neha, thank you for uh, giving us those details. Let me go across to Thoya Jakshi, who is joining us. Uh, Thoya Jakshi, well, this, uh, you know, standoff is, of course, uh, con continuing. The Congress at this point in time saying that the centre is purposely denying them the rights needed for the implementation of the scheme, wherein the BJP uh, saying uh, that, uh, you know, the Congress is spreading misinformation about the central government. Well, absolutely no. Anabagya is one of the promise, one of the guarantees that was made by the Congress party uh, at his during his manifesto. But now that uh, BJP is uh, claiming that uh, you know Congress is misleading the people of Karnataka by promising that uh, they will be giving uh, 10 kilos of rice uh, to everyone in the state of Karnataka. But where this BJP's uh, main, you know, BJP's plan to you know it was a counter plan to um, you know do the protest today in in the demonst demonstration, uh, you know, where uh, refusing the center refusing to release rice to implement its, its Anabagya scheme. But, uh, you know, the uh, BJP is strongly, you know, uh, claiming that uh, uh, Congress is misleading, Congress is fooling the people of Karnataka. Uh, you know, the Congress just know to make promises, give, give fake hopes to the people of Karnataka, but, you know, they are not ready to implement it. So, and now that they are blaming the center, that uh, the center is not ready to give uh, uh, the, ri the rice. So now that, that is why, you know, uh, during this protest, you know, several leaders, several BJP leaders, including uh, the former Chief Minister of Karnataka, Basvaraj Bomai, were also detained, uh, you know, while, the protest, while they were protesting against the Karnataka government today in Bengaluru.